Hello, my students. I thought that I could just provide you a couple more examples of gas stoichiometry problems. These problems were included in the gas stoich packet. These problems are found on the second page with my work attached, but in light of um, the disruption to our teaching schedule, I thought that I could just do a couple of these along with you and for you. So why don't we do one where we are asked for mass? So how about, how about this one? Now, when we're at STP, <coughs> we know that we can use the relationship of molar volume. And whenever we need to get to moles out of volume or into moles from volume, we can utilize 22.41 liters per mole, but that is, of course, only at STP conditions. And we can see in this problem that we're not. The first thing we are provided is the balanced equation. Wonderful. So we have carbon solid reacting with oxygen to create carbon monoxide. And the question is, what mass of carbon is required to produce 250 liters of carbon monoxide at 25 Celsius and 0.345 ATF? All right. Well, first, I'm beginning with my gas, my gas. So I know if I need to, I can rely on an ideal gas law, a gas law. If I'm given volume, I'm not at SCP, so I can't use molar volume to get moles, but I sure can use PV equals NRT. So my N will be PV divided by RT. The pressure, wonderful, it is already in atmospheres. My volume, wonderful, it is already in liters. R, 0 0.08206 liter atmosphere per Kelvin mole. My 25 Celsius to Kelvin, 25 plus 273.15, that will give us 298. And I will be left with moles and with sig figs, 3.53 moles of carbon monoxide. I fear I'm going to run out of room here, so I'm just going to begin my stoichiometry. Now that I'm in moles of my carbon monoxide, I can go right from um, using the balance equation with the mole ratios, mole of carbon monoxide to mole of carbon, and one mole of carbon, 12.01 grams and 42.4 grams of carbon would be my answer. I'd like to do one where we are given mass and we're asked for volume. So let's look at number three. Number three reads, what volume of oxygen gas in liters can be collected at 734.7 milliliters of mercury and 25 Celsius when 24 grams of potassium chlorate is decomposed. All right. Decomposition of a metal chlorate. Now, I'm imagining because I'm given grams of this that it's a solid, and it definitely is. This is an ionic compound, which we know will be a solid at room temperature pressure a white solid, in fact, as most ionic compounds are. The decomposition of a metal chlorate gives us a metal chloride and oxygen gas. We would need a 2 and a 2 and a 3 to balance. And now this is soluble, but I don't have any water here, so this will be in the, the solid form. I am asked for the volume of oxygen in liters that is collected at 734.7 millimeters of mercury and 25 Celsius. Now I'm beginning with solid. No gas law for this. So I'm going to start out with my 24 grams of potassium chlorate. And I am going to convert to moles using formula mass, 122.55 grams of KClO3 in every one mole. 
Now to my mole ratio. Two moles of KClO3 for every three moles of O2. I'm not at STP. So I'm going to stop here. I get 0.294 moles of oxygen. Now, using ideal gas law, this is, of course, a gas, and I can solve for my volume. So, my volume will be NRT divided by P. I found the moles through the stoichiometry using R. And my temp, 298 again, over. Now, to get from millimeters of mercury to atmospheres, I will divide this by 760. And we get 0.9667 atm. And just to make sure everything cancels as it should, and we get 7.44 liters of oxygen as our answer. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to forward them my way. Just to show, um, here was the work that I provided you in your packet. Um, for number two, number three, but also for number four. Um, the answer is 15,000 liters of ammonia.